My name is Dr. Robert Goldstein, and I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist. That means that I'm a cardiologist that treats heart rhythm problems. What I'd like to do today is talk to you about atrial fibrillation ablation. You may have been told by your physician that you need to have an ablation procedure for your atrial fibrillation. What I'd like to discuss today is whether you really need that procedure, what are the alternative therapies available, and what may you expect from such a procedure. Atrial fibrillation is a very complex arrhythmia. It's something that really is the last frontier in our field. No one really understands the mechanism of how atrial fibrillation works completely. What we do know is that the left atrium is involved. So what an atrial fibrillation ablation includes is where we bring catheters up through the groin into the heart and we zap away those segments that we believe atrial fibrillation is coming from. This is a procedure that is unlike many of the other ablations we do for other rhythm disturbances. In those cases, we understand those rhythm disturbances extremely well, and the success rate is extremely high. The risk rate is also quite low. This is in contrast to atrial fibrillation, where the understanding is lacking, the success rate is much lower, more on the order of 50 to 60 percent, depending on the type of atrial fibrillation you have, and the risks are a bit higher as well for complications. Therefore, if you have atrial fibrillation and are completely asymptomatic, you don't even feel it, then don't bother with an ablation. There are other avenues of therapy, including medications, that can help you feel quite well, and you can go about your daily activities without any trouble. If you are troubled by your atrial fibrillation, then you may consider more aggressive therapy. And there are more aggressive medications that can be used as a first-line therapy before jumping to an ablation. And if that fails, you can always have an atrial fibrillation ablation procedure. But you should come in with a proper expectation. Know that depending on the nature of your atrial fibrillation, success rates are at best in the 50 to 60 percent range, not 90 or 100 percent. Also understand that you may require a second procedure. So in sum, if you have atrial fibrillation and are completely asymptomatic, leave well enough alone, you do not require an ablation procedure. The next level of therapy would be medications, not an ablation. If you are still having symptoms despite medical treatment, then ablation procedure for atrial fibrillation should be considered. But enter it with the proper expectation regarding the risk and success because an atrial fibrillation ablation procedure is truly the last resort of therapy.